Oh, thank you, Jesus. He is the only one, only one. Oh, praise his name. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. He is the only one. the Lord he is the Holy One Yahweh praise the Lord praise the Lord praise the Lord hallelujah praise the Lord praise the Lord welcome to our teleconference another time we are here to give glory to God to think of his wonders, to say, praise the name of the Lord, the Lord reigneth. Let the earth rejoice. Let the earth be full of his glory. Hallelujah. It's good to be alive. It's good to know the Lord. It's good to know that we have a blessed hope. God bless you. Welcome to our teleconference tonight. And we're going to continue our topic on prayer, the power of prayer. We want to think about, we want to talk about prayer and the power. Because there's a lot of power in prayer. And last week we we talked about the prayer of Abraham when God was about to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. And God said, I can't do this thing without telling my friend Abraham. See, God look at Abraham as a friend, the Almighty God. Look at Abraham, a mere man, 
as a friend. It was said that Abraham was a friend of God because they had a relationship. They had a because they, Abraham was obedient to God when God told him to come out of your own country to a place that I will show you. And he went on the or on the word of God. So I'm going to go into prayer again, but I'm going to the power of prayer, part two, and I'm just going to pray before I start. Father, I thank you, I praise you, I bless you, worship you, glorify you. Thank you for everyone who's joined us on this teleconference. Pray you will lead us and guide us and speak to us, Lord, direct us, Lord, help us to be of faith, help us to trust more in you than in ourselves, because we know in you is all the power and the glory and the honor. We give you thanks and we give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we are going to talk about this servant of God we know as Elijah. Elijah. Elijah was a major prophet in the time of the kings. Kings meaning that when Israel desired a king, um, God Samuel was was the leader or the ruler through God, but the children of Israel wanted their own king, so they cried unto God and said they wanted their own king, and God gave them a king who was King Saul, the first king of Israel. And we know what happened with King Saul, how King Saul disobeyed God when God told him to kill all the Amalekites. Because when the children of Israel was coming out of Egypt, the Amalekites stood before them. And Moses had to fight. The children of Israel had to fight the Amalekites. And it was so, the fight was so intense. And God did not forget. God said, I remember the Amalekites who stood before Israel when they came out of Egypt. God don't forget. So God told Saul, the first king of Israel, to kill all the Amalekites. Children, animal beasts, everything. And Saul disobeyed. He killed what he wanted, say what he wanted. And that was to his demise. Oh, praise God. So we see God, from then on there were King David and other kings that came to rule over Israel. And then the kingdom was divided. And they had Israel and Judah, two kingdom were divided because of a disobedience of one of the kings of Israel. Praise the Lord. But now we want to look at Elijah. There. We're on the subject of prayer. And we want to look at this man, Elijah. So I'm going to look at First Kings chapter 18. I'm going to read from verse 20. First Kings chapter 18. And I read from verse 20. So Abel, so Ahab, so Ahab sent unto all the children of Israel. Now, this was a time when there was idolatry in Israel. And God was not pleased, but he had a man. He had Elijah there. So it says, Ab so Ahab sent unto all the children of Israel and gathered the prophets together upon Mount Carmel. And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long, how long halt he between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. And the people answer him not a word. Then said Elijah unto the people, I, even I only, remain a prophet of the Lord. But Baal's prophet are 450 men. Let them gather, let them therefore Give us two bullocks, and let them choose one bullock for themselves, and cut it in pieces, and lay it on wood, and put no fire under, 
and I will dress the other bullock and lay it on wood and put no fire under. And call he on the name of your gods. And I will call on the name of the Lord and the God that answer it by fire. Let him be God. And all the people answered and said, It is well spoken. And Elijah said, unto the prophet of Baal. Choose you one of these, one bullock for yourself, and dress it first, for he are many, and call upon the name of your gods, and put no fire under. And they took the bullock which was given them, and dress it, and call on the name of Baal, for morning until noon, saying, Hear us! But there was no voice, nor any that answered. And they leaped upon the altar which was made, and it came to pass at noon. Elijah mocked them, and said, Cry louder, for he is a god. Either he is talking, or he, he is pursuing, or he is in a journey, or peradventure he sleepeth and must be awakened. And they cried loud and cut themselves in their manner with knives and latchets till blood gushed out upon them. And it came to pass when midday was past that they prophesied unto the that they prophesied unto the time of the offering in the evening sacrifice and there was no voice nor, nor any to answer nor any that regarded and Elijah said unto all the people come near unto me and all the people came near unto him, and he repaired the altar of the Lord which was broken down. And Elijah took twelve stones according to the number of the tribe of the sons of Jacob, whom, unto whom the word of God came, saying, Israel shall thy name be, shall be thy name. And with the stones he built an altar in the name of the Lord and made a trench round about, about it, about the altar, with, as, with, as great as would contain two measures of seed. And he put the wood in order and cut the bullocks in pieces and laid it on the wood and said, Fill four barrels of water and it pour it on the burnt sacrifice and the wood. And he said, Do it a second time. And they did it a second time. And he said, Do it a third time. And they did it a third time. And the water ran round about the altar and he filled the trench with water and they filled the trench with water and it came to pass at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice Elijah the prophet came near and said Lord God of Abraham Isaac and Israel let it be known this day that thou art God in Israel and I am thy servant, and that I have done all these things at thy word. Hear me, O Lord, hear me, that this people may know that thou art the Lord God, and that thou hast turned their heart back again. Then the fire 
of the Lord fell and consumed burnt offering, burnt sacrifice, the wood and the stone and the dust, and licked up the water that was in the trench. And when the people saw it, they fell on their faces and said, Lord, the Lord, He is God. The Lord, He is God. And Elijah said unto them, Take the prophets of Baal, and let none of them escape. And they took them, and Elijah brought them down to the brook of Kishon, and slew them there. Praise God. Praise God. So this is the power of faith and of prayer. When we know God, as Elijah did, he could have the confidence that when he pray, when he called upon God, he was really it was a short prayer that he made. And to be honest with you, prayer don't have to be long. Prayer don't have to be long. It needs to be direct and it needs to be sincere. And the prayer he prayed, he said. He prayed unto the Lord, say, O God of Israel, Abraham, O God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, let it be known that thou art God in Israel. That's the prayer he prayed. O God. So when we pray, we need to identify who we're praying to. The the prophets of Baal, they did not know who they were praying to and they were praying to an unknown God. They were praying to a God who do not exist. But Elijah knew the God that he was praying to. And look at the short prayer he made and the power that was in this prayer. Verse 36 1 Kings 18, 36, it says, It came to pass at the time of offering the evening sacrifice that Elijah the prophet came near and said, this is the prayer that Elijah prayed, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, let it be known this day that thou art art God in Israel and that I am thy servant and that I have done all the all things at thy word hear O Lord hear me that these people may know that thou art God and that thou hast turned their heart back again not a great long prayer but a prayer of faith. So when we pray, we must have the confidence. And how I know that, how we know that Elijah was having saying a prayer of faith is because he knew what God can do. Imagine that those, the prophet of Baal made their altar. And they call upon Baal from morning till evening. And they climb on the altar. And they cut themselves. And they cried out loud. And there was no answer. There is only one God that can answer prayer. There is only one God who can answer prayer. And his name is Jesus. Him alone. It doesn't matter if we do not pray by faith in Jesus' name. Our prayer cannot be answered. We have to pray by faith in Jesus' name. And that's the confidence that Elijah had that he knew 
who he was talking to when he prayed. He said, Lord God of Abraham, identify. When we pray, we must identify who we are praying to. Lord God of Abraham, Isaac and Israel, let it be known. Let it be known this day that thou art God in Israel. When we pray, we must say, Lord, let it be known. Let it be seen. Let it be known that you are God who hear and answer prayer. 